What up, YouTube? Back at it again. We are checking out some Alan Walker um, featuring Angelina Jordan, I believe. Um, Alan Walker, Sunday and Sing Me to Sleep. I was sent this. Um, okay, I've, I've done some Alan Walker on my channel. He's also, he's, he's Norwegian. DJ, producer. Um, Angelina, obviously, we're familiar with her. I don't even know. Uh, it, via the thumbnail, this looks like... Hold on a sec. Seven years ago. Okay, so she was younger. She was... 10, 11, something like that. Um, cool, cool. Uh, if you're new here, if you're not new here, run over to Alan Walker's page. Run over to Angelina's page both at the same time with two different hands on two different mouses, mice, mice, whatever. Two different computers if you have to um, or, or just one at a time. be easier. Go like and subscribe, please. If you like what I do, please like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Appreciate it very much. It does help out the channel. Best way to get me is on Patreon. That is linked below in the description and right here as well. Uh, looks like YouTube caught on, right? They moved the nonsense they're putting over there and put it right back down below where it belongs because it made absolutely no sense to be moved. Um, so kudos, YouTube, for um, your users not allowing you to continue to mess your platform up. So well done. Um, yeah, excited to check it out. I haven't done Angelina in a few days. I um, haven't done Alan Walker in, a, in probably a few weeks. What was the last thing I did with him? Poetry, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Um, let's, uh, so this song, See Me to Sleep, I don't know what Sunday is, um, uh, unless that's, we'll check it out in a second, See Me to Sleep, that's an Alan Walker song, vocals originally by, I don't know how to say her name, Iselin, um, Iselin Wilhelm or something, is it, what's, what's the, what's her name? Um, do, 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 do. Probably messing her name up. I want to get it right. Um, Solheim. Solheim. Iselin Solheim. Okay. Um, I'm not familiar with her, obviously, but um, regardless, we'll we'll check out her version too. Uh, if that's if that's the original, let's dive in. In the summer last year, I had a homecoming show in my hometown, Bergen. I performed my own songs in a way I've never done before and I'm excited to share it with you guys. I'm a huge fan of movie soundtracks, so I've actually made a restrung version of So if you guys don't know the reason he covers his face, um he's he's big on unity, so he feels that it adds like uh, it adds like a sense of over like I guess global kind of togetherness if he just you know, um, if he hides this, as much of his face as he can while still being able to do what he does with his eyes, hands, and whatnot, um, ba basically saying we're all we're all equal in in God's eyes. Yeah. For all my songs, I started a show with a restrung version of "Sing Me to Sleep," performed by the very talented Angelina Jordan. She's actually only 10 years old, and she made this version of the song sound so beautiful. I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I do. jump into to vocals um just i want to comment on that intro beautiful melody on this um I, I get where he was going with i've never heard this by the way anybody's version of it so um i get where he was going with i'm sorry I'm, you know when you can't like turn left i've got that i've had it for like six weeks it's it's the anyways 
um i can see how he was going like inspirationally going with like movie soundtrack it sounds like it sounds like exactly what that is it's beautiful though all the strings to Alan and well his the whole ensemble had had their hoods up too he's got his hood up and everything I've seen him do I had to put that up there by the way everything I've done by I just did that as a precaution so I didn't have to go back and re-edit 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 it's it's annoying everything I've ever done by by Alan um gets gets cut off right away and then usually um usually like you know as far as like the copyright restrictions they get lifted um but I'm assuming if you're here You've seen that performance before, so I'm, I'm not super worried about it. If you haven't, it's linked down below if you want to check it out without the writing and stuff like that. But um, it's 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 crazy with her vocals, like, um, and usually I'm really good at being able to, like, pay attention to lyrics while paying attention to other things. I've done enough of these where I, I kind of trained my brain to, but like with her stuff, like, um, I almost forget to listen to what the song's about. Um, I had to remind myself like a quarter of the way into it, just like, oh, I'm not even listening to the lyrics at all. And I have no idea what this song's about. Um, I love that. It's uh it's 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 weird when you make 
a feel good song about kind of a sad topic. Not weird. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's because uh, it's the song. Once I listen to the lyrics, it's it's about this. Um, uh, I guess whoever the, the you know the protagonist, if you will, the whoever the the narrator is who's who's singing this. Um, it's written from a place of missing and, and longing for somebody that's that's not there. It's uh, and sort of searching within for answers, um, memories, um, searching through memories for answers. Um, you know, wondering if if time will heal. Kind of doubting that it won't this time. It's it just sounds like this person's sort of removed and just um, you know, if you were if you were next to me singing, you know, I could probably fall asleep, but I've got. I've got, you know, I'm, I'm pensive and I've got these, these thoughts brewing of, um, of everything. And it's just, it's one of those, like, it sounds to be like one of those just, um, I mean, maybe not even a breakup song, but, but definitely a missing somebody song. I mean, it could be, it could be a breakup song. It, it could be missing a loved, a loved one who's moved away or moved on up above. Um, it, it could, it could, and again, I, I probably missed a lot of the lyrics, so I'm, I was just listening to her now onto her vocals. Um, fantastic. I've never, I don't think I've seen her in this lane. Um, it wasn't, I didn't get the, you know, a lot of the stuff is, is throwback, um, old school loungy jazz feel. This had none of that. Um, this is, this is what you get out of like your current, like if you, if you ever, if you hear a lot of Alan Walker stuff, um, a lot of the, the vocals laced on a lot of these new J DJs tracks where a lot of it has, you know, most of the track is run by keys. Um, Kygo does a lot of that too. Um, but, uh, it's, 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 there's a lot of female voices that are in this lane. You know, if even going back 10, 15 years, you know, the Ellie Goulding's of the world and, um, that, that sort of sing on top of these types of tracks. Um, not, not necessarily like, you know, super, you know, EDM type. Like if it didn't really have like the, the build up to a beat, you know, hard hitting stuff, but like in that, in that sort of lane, um, cause a lot of Alan's Walker stuff, like you look at the top left photo here, <laughs> you look at faded, which is one of his most popular songs, if not his most popular song, it's this crazy lit up room, laser lights everywhere, people bouncing and stuff. Um, you're not really going to get that with this song. I don't think unless he puts a beat behind it, which you very easily could, you can mix the shit out of that. But, um, her vocals were fantastic. She did a great job. I love the melody he wrote on this. Um, that was, that was really good. I wouldn't expect anything less out of her though. Um, she's, and it's funny. I, the other stuff that I've done from her, um, you, 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 I made, I made comments that she's, she's so business in this to a point where if you probably if you probably saw me just just light up with a smile um right when the camera moved i don't know if she did this on purpose but she was business camera moves off of her i don't know what second mark it was at but you can find it camera mark moves off of her to like one in the way back of the room where she's kind of vaguely in the in the you know in the in the background ish but you can see her and then you see her kind of light up and she's smiling and waving at somebody that she sees in the audience and then right when it's focused back on camera number 1 business again you know and um she did that twice in this where she she sort of paused and waved at somebody like um cool to see crowd involvement on on a lot of her live stuff i, I haven't seen a ton of uh where literally everybody standing around her knows the words and are singing with her um so interesting to see how she reacts with that at such a young age getting used to that it's almost like um building up not a callus but just a um a familiarity, a familiar, familiarity with, with live shows and, and having people around you, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll say any job by both of them. Love that song. Um, I really like that. That was, that was really good. But anyways, please go support, um, Alan Walker, go support, um, go support Angelina as well. Um, go like, and subscribe on both of those. Like, if you like, please come, um, comment down below, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Appreciate it very much. Um, hope you're having a wonderful rest of your Friday, wonderful weekend. We'll talk to you on the next.